Hey guys, welcome to the True Blue Riffcast with your hosts, Jeremy and Dave. My name is Christine DeBell, but many of you know me as Susan from A Talking Cat. And as you know, I have to go and get my cheese puffs out of the oven. So have a great time with Jeremy and Dave. See you soon. Thanks, Christine. This is the True Blue Riffcast, the number one riff tracks podcast in the world i am jeremy and i am joined as always by sup everyone i'm dave how are you how was your day my day was fine beautiful lovely january i had yesterday and today off um oh an unprecedented second day off yeah of course i did watch terminus today so yeah i watched terminus today too (laughs) <laughs> oh my goodness! We um, yeah, we're we're, we're going to say a usual... few a few interesting things about that one. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, like if I can remember any of it, you know, it's like, it's one of those guys. So strap in. But uh, uh, yeah, other than that, everything's been going fine. Ultimately, any yeah. any weirdness? Any bad? crazy customers or any anything going on in your life I'm trying to think if i had an i think i had a crazy rides the last few days i took today off here's the thing like mostly like like with these rides is that i forget most of them immediately <laughs> like <laughs> kind of like some of these trip tricks yeah 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 um it's just like like but no it, it's like i drop them off and it's on to the next one. And like, you know, sometimes people ask like, what was your most interesting ride today? And I'm like, I, I, I don't, I don't remember, you know, it's like, like, unless someone does something like particularly egregious, like I generally won't remember the rides. Most of the times I don't even get a good look at the people. Yeah. Um, like, mm-hmm. like, like, like I'll get annoyed. Like here lately, people have been slamming my seatbelt into the, into the car door. Like and one of the things properly time, or 
yeah, yeah, something like that. And those plunk and just walk off. And I was like, well, thanks. And I have to like stop in the middle of the road and just like go back and I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm all cranky and I'm all pissy for like the next few minutes until I forget about it. That's the great thing about um about like uh uh you know how people are like you get angry at people yeah. when you're driving. And then like sometimes I'll I'll piss people off. Like I'll like like oh I need to be in this lane. And then I'll I'll be like my ass will be like hanging out halfway in a lane because I need to get into this other lane to turn left. And everyone's like oh hur, hur, hur. and I'm like sorry take solace in the fact that in in one minute none of us will ever see each other again. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's like I'm sorry, but I'm gonna forget all about this like within minutes. Right. So uh but uh uh Sundance is over, thank God. So I don't have to go to Park City every day. <laughs> every day. And man, I don't know if I've talked like like have I know I've talked about it in in, in the Discord, but I don't know if I've talked about it on the podcast. I and maybe I have. Well, you talked man, about having to go to Park City a little bit, but that's about it. But but dude, going to Park City, like especially like 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 this time of year, it's it's insane and it's really bad at Sundance because all these people like like they don't know what crosswalks are. Like they just they like they the people in that city like the tour like first of all Park City is not built for the amount of tourism that that it gets. It's a tiny tiny town, and they haven't like it gets. It gets ski tourism, and the roads are like for a small town. Yeah, it's not built for the amount of tourism that it gets, and and on Sundance it's like ten billion times worse. But people just walk wherever they want, and I, I get so mad, just like driving through Park City, especially like the last two weeks during during during, during the film festival, and it's like. How long is the drive from Ogden to Park City? It's it, it depends if you go through Salt Lake on I-15 and get on I-80. Um, uh, go up Parley's Canyon. That's about an hour and, and, and some odd minutes. But if you go around back, if you take 84 and go up through Summit County that way, then it's usually about an hour and 20 minutes. So it's, um, it's at least an hour either way. Um, but, um, but man... I'm just that is not a short drive. No, it's not. But uh yeah, so that's my rant about about Park City. <laughs> it says downtown Iowa City is similar with um U of I students. U, what what is that? Oh, the University of Iowa. Oh, okay. Yeah. U of I. Oh, okay. All right. I I get it. I'm a smart man. So that's my rant about having to go to Park City all the time. So <laughs> Well, I haven't had to kick anybody out of the theater uh, recently, so that's uh, for performing I mean, for... disgusting sex acts during the movie. Yeah, <laughs> I mean for anything really. It's it's been a pretty calm, uh, calm week. Of course, it's been a dead week, and we haven't had just anybody there. Uh, in fact, it's January even the, also. Even the, the weekend box office. Suck. Yeah, it's the weekend box office. Mean Girls is still number one. The Beekeeper is still number two. Wonka is still number three. Migration is still number four. And anyone but you is still number five. So it's not too much of a change at all. The highest grossing movie over the weekend was Mean Girls with uh, $6.9 million. Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, that's... That's a terrible take. That's really bad. This was not better. I had to move this back over here. I was wondering what you were doing. I was just trying to check the, the glare a little bit. It's... Argyle it's looks like way. it's fun. Um like although like it look like what is it like a uh it's the it's the classic trope of oh my gosh a writer's things are all coming to life and now they need and the writers getting like you know yeah, crumbled it's, off. It's the, or, or the they, they're like the they're like the special yeah. The writer uh the book ended up being true. Like not coming true, but being true. Nah. Yeah. And so the, these, you know, spy agencies are after her. And uh, I if the the first the first look that I've heard, uh, like people talking about, said that it looks pretty good. And uh, 
if you're worried that this is another movie that the trailer gives everything away, like it doesn't. Um, so that's always that's always a good thing to not worry about. But yeah, nothing nothing really new or or interesting in the uh the uh weekend box of Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> weekend box office. Godzilla minus 1 minus color came out this week. Um minus and, color. Uh, yeah, they they went through and they remastered the movie into black and white. Uh but they didn't just like why? Hit the button that changed it to black and white because they wanted it to feel and look like a more novelty. like the 1954. Godzilla. Um, so they went through and they put uh, like a film grain on it, and it's not like an overpowering film grain. You know, sometimes they they go a little too far with those things. It looks pretty close to a movie that would have actually come out in the fifties, just with better special effects. Well, the thing like, is, they gotta, did a really like, good job. Like, you got to get those actual prints. The pristine yeah. prints from to know what it looks like. Like it can't be like a video transfer from a film strip to like all this other stuff to to make it look like that. And the thing is, is that those movies didn't look like garbage. No, no, they didn't. You know? Most of that is because of it being transferred and then transferred and then transferred and then yeah, transferred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, if you look at something, yeah, time. like like even something like Plan Nine didn't look as trashy as it does. Yeah, you know when it's just been transferred and restored so many times. Yeah. Um, but it does look it does look really good. Like they went through and they changed the contrast, um, like on Godzilla itself. Uh, so it didn't you know just look like a black matted mess. It actually, they did a good job. They it's 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 very well done, and I hope both versions come out on the uh, the home release whenever that happens because I want to watch it again. And probably again after that, and maybe a few more times after that. Yeah. Uh, I I know I know this is your favorite. I uh... don't oh, know what is he doing. What's he saying? <laughs> What's he saying? Let's let's take let's a quick a look. Just one quick look at what the hell James Wen is doing. <sighs> okay. uh, he posted a picture of himself uh, with the Hollywood Did sign he? in the background. Hollywood Dream Birdemic Trilogy 2. Uh and then here's here's another he's announced yet another new film that he's working on. Oh, oh, oh really? What a yes. surprise. Uh while James Wen is hold busy on, wait, wait, with... wait, 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 wait. Does that have something to do with the environment? No. What? I ain't right. So uh while James Wen is busy with Plan B Holocene and C Rising. He is working on the screenplay Little Saigon, a romantic oh, wait, mystery about this to be in production in 2026. And then he posted a picture of himself with his mother in Little Saigon, Westminster, California. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was funny that he's working on yet another movie. Dave, you have disappeared, just so you know. I'm you back. Go. Sorry. Whenever it does a thing, sorry, my bad. I just wasn't sure if you actually got knew to that see. It, that got it went to see off, my so. puppet man for a second. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this week, uh, for our little game. Oh yes, is, for uh, Dave that riff. It is Dave that riff, and I am changing things up a little bit. Yes, Miss Saigon. Broadway already has done a love story with Miss Saigon. You're right, Oliver. This week, uh, as I just mentioned, we are we are changing things up a little bit for how we're doing Dave that riff. Uh, Dave still has the possibility to get five points. It's not very likely. <laughs> hey, hey, you could remember just, this I, 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 I just, specific just line. Putting it out there, just put it out there. The rules that Jeremy has come up with for 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 this week's edition. I'm not like I, I've agreed to it. It's going to be fun, but the odds are not in my favor. <laughs> it's going to be a little Jeremy, more go difficult ahead and than usual. All right, so uh, this time around, we have one riff that Dave is going to try and figure out what it is. And I have five different clues, five different quotes from uh, from the riff. 
Some are, no are lines that are quotes, some that are lines uh, that are riffs. Um, and I will tell you if it's a quote or a riff, which you'll probably be able to figure it out anyway. Yeah. Um, but yes, no extra clues. Yeah. Just straight up lines from the movie. Uh, mm-hmm. You do get one clue, and that is the year that it was released. Okay. And I think there's more clues than I thought I was going to get, honestly. This uh, this this movie, this is a VOD. Okay. That's your other clue. That's your other clue. All right. Uh, this was released in 2016. Okay. So we're going VOD back from eight 2016. years. 2016. So that narrows it down to, there's quite a bit there. Okay. There's quite a bit there. All right. So the first quote, uh, and if he gets it right on the first quote, he gets five points. Uh, if he gets it right in the second quote, Perfect he gets score. four points, so on and so forth, down to quote five until he would get one point. Uh, so the first quote, okay. I brought you I brought you a Coke to go with that, honey. I like Dr. Pepper. Don't you remember nothing? That is a quote from the movie. There's two characters. Okay, so someone's bringing somebody snacks. Um, so I, uh, the only thing I can think of is possibly the drive-in in in Ruby. Is that your answer? That's not, that's my answer for that one. Yeah. You son of a bitch. (laughs) What? Are you serious? You got it right on the first. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. Uh, Dude, the only the, the, the only thing like like you said 2016 and I'm like that's the first movie I thought of was was uh, Ruby I was like well Ruby's in 2016 yeah but also like like what other like someone's bringing someone snacks yeah. and Ruby takes place at that drive-in you know <laughs> very I told you wow. you get it off of the first one uh well, so I'm gonna I, go I, through I didn't remember that line I just used I just used like. You know, like like context clues. You know what I mean? Reasoning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, So here, I'll go through the rest of the clues. Yeah, yeah. What are the rest of them? Uh, So the next one is: Has Leslie ever spoken? She's never even cried. Well, that's definitely Ruby. Uh, Hey, what am I? The St. Louis Arch in an earthquake. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, in other places they TP your trees. In Florida, they throw dead guys into them. Mm-hmm. And then the last one that definitely would have given it away. Linda Blair's out there somewhere, rolling her eyes, spewing pea soup in disgust. Yeah. So you did it. You got it on the first yeah. one. Wow. I. That's crazy. You you spoiled the whole game. Good job. <laughs> or I won the whole game. Yeah, you won it. Yes, very quickly. Like I just Good. that was like a home run. <laughs> That's very I well done. Like... As soon as you said, sounds like someone's bringing snacks, like at the movie theater in Ruby, I'm like, oh, my God. I was trying not to show it on my face that you uh, <laughs> that you had got it right immediately. Or you thought that I would, like, second-guess myself. Like, maybe, yeah. like, but I don't know what else it, it, it really could have been. Like, I, cause... yeah. Oh, well. Uh, another idea that I had to do uh, with this one, or that I that I wanted mm-hmm. to do, was to pick a couple different riffs, and like, here's here's three quotes from one of these two riffs, like, or one of these three riffs, so you get like, you know, a chance to guess at each one type of thing. Yeah, but make it so it's from similar movies. So, oh, it could be yeah. from this, or it could be from this. Yeah. Uh, I think that could be a, a fun couple way of to I- do it also, but a, a, a couple of ideas that I that I've had to kind of change it up. Oh, we can turn that off. Uh, to change it up is like have like two uh, riffs that go like head to head, like Roller Gator versus Baby Ghost. Oh, like this riff is either from Roller Gator or Baby Ghost, and you have to guess which one. And no clues, just be like, okay, is it Roller Gator or Baby Ghost? Um, so kind of like. Uh... Like a real or fanfic type thing. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, and also another one I had, uh, an idea I had is like, okay, it's like, here are the five movies that I chose from. And you have to like put each of these riffs like with like the movie that they go with, like, you know, like a, 
not really multiple choice, but like you know, like fill in the bl- yeah, like, you know, like yeah, like I know what you mean. You have to match them up. You have to match them up. Yeah, yeah, mix and match. Yeah. So and too. you know, we're, and you we're just looking know, for so. ways to keep it fresh, guys. Yeah. Cause yeah, cause dude, pulling these man, pulling these quotes. I I I don't think pulling the quotes that's hot is hard. It's coming up with the clues really that is kind of like makes it a little bit difficult. So we're trying to we're we're we're, we're experimenting with different ways to play the game. So yeah. and it, it may be like like I I don't think going forward there's going to be like a s- specific set of rules. Jeremy and I talked about it, and like uh, Jeremy, if you have any other like rules, go ahead and uh, uh, add them. But I think like it has to be five, and it has to be fair. Like yeah. like it can't be like something that you aren't going to be able to get. Right. So. So, but uh, yeah. So perfect score, Dave. That riff. Woo. Ruby twenty sixteen. It's a great riff. Go and get it at rifttracks.com. I'm sure Oliver's already seen it, but uh, oh yeah, I mean yeah, he knew he knew the, he has it. Yeah, he knew it, or he says he knew it. I'm sure he did. I'm not down. I'm sure yeah, he did. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did as well. Uh, I I think I think I put this off long enough, Dave. Uh, so the terminus to the fun part of the podcast, to where <laughs> we come and talk about terminus. Yeah, Jeremy. WTF yeah. with this? <laughs> yeah, already. this I movie mean, like, was. We came from weird. We we like yeah. We we came off the high of 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 Paradise Motel to even the Christmas Martian to the Little, Little Mermaid, Mermaid to Grim Tracks <laughs> to Terminus <laughs> to Terminus and man. Was it like like I I'm not gonna say it was bad movie selection. I'm just saying that the movie was bad. Oh like, yeah, this it movie was, is it awful. was it was awful. I was I was surprised because like usually they get like a version of the movie that is like cheapo. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't say that, but like uh, it's um it's a edited version that they yeah. get for I I, I would assume is a cheaper price, which, you know, it's good business. And like, you know, who needs to see the entire cut of, of Jack Frost or <laughs> like, you know, like, like who, who needs to see all of I'm trying to think of, of, of a movie that we've watched recently. Like who needs to see all of split second, you know? So, uh, but um, man, like, no, this is the full version like it was, I think, like seventy three minutes, and it's the full version of the movie. Yeah, and you would think, like looking at it, that there was a lot of stuff that cut out because it makes no sense. Like, and like, and 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 a lot of times when a movie doesn't make sense, it's because it's the edited version, and there was stuff that like they foolishly not riff tracks, but the people who sold the movie foolishly cut out, and it just is like. Oh. You know, it was like, well, where did the wheelchair guy go? I was like, oh, well, he was murdered off screen. Yeah. You know, like, and like, like, like in, in a longer version of 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 the movie. So it's like, well, yeah, it's it's it, it's like that. Not so uh, with with this. And man, poor Karen Allen. Man, do you know anything about this movie? Like, 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 like how and like, like why it exists? Because it, it there... seems like. Is not much. It seems like there is a story. It seems like there should be a story behind this. There is not much uh, behind this movie. There's not much information that I've been able to find, um, other than it was released as a you know kind of a ripoff. Mad Max Two was out and popular, well, obviously, yeah. And that's that's it. That's that's all. Even the the Wikipedia page has like hardly it's, anything. It's bare bones. For the plot. Yeah. Um, it's a it's French and German made uh, sci fi movie from uh, the eighties. Was it eighty seven? Um, mm-hmm. a- as I told Dave earlier, that this really felt like the type of movie that they would have had uh, during the sci fi years 
of mm-hmm. MST3K. Um, it's very future it war, just, that kind of thing. Yeah, it just had that feeling to it. And you're right about it. It feels like it's chopped up because uh, Karen Allen's character dies, like, not that far into the movie. And yeah, like, 23 minutes in, she she's dead. I'm like, she's dead? They She gets caught by uh, the Major, or whatever the hell his name was. I think it was the Major. And uh, he's like, I'm going to torture you until you tell us how you found us or whatever. And then it cuts to her, like, dying in, like, a and She just bag. foams blood out of her mouth to death. Yeah. Like, I, like yeah, it, it, was, it was very odd. But I think we're getting ahead of it. Like... This 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 movie was very hard to follow. Like I wasn't like like even now, just like 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 the like everything I know about this movie is just like like is is like slowly just like if it hadn't already departed my brain, it's like begging to get out. But like there were so many weird elements in this in this in this movie. And I think the one that sticks out to me, well, the two elements that stick out to me the most, and people are going to be like, remember Terminus? No, not really. Like, you remember the mouth? Oh, the mouth. yes, I know that. I wanted that thing to die. Um, and and I wasn't sure if it was end. evil. <laughs> yeah, it seems towards the very end that we will get to. It is almost, it is, I would say it's more shocking than the Christmas llama in the Christmas Martian. So, oh, absolutely. Like, okay, so so Jeremy sent me like uh, a text to be like, "Whoa, what the heck?" And I was like, "Okay, something happened in the movie." And he's like, "You'll see." And I got towards the end, I was like, "Oh, I must have missed it, or he's full of crap." And then <laughs> Jeremy backed me up. I I was just I was very shocked. Oh yeah. I'd be like, "Oh, what the WTF?" Yeah, it was very like, much. That, and I'm like, oh, you got to the trailer. Okay. Um, well, okay. So I'm going to read what the Wikipedia okay. page says is the plot for this movie. Because okay. some of it might make a little bit more sense. So apparently okay. this takes place in uh, 2037. Oh, it does? Uh, where an international sport has been established, wherein a driver of a truck must cross the country and arrive at the designated terminus while confronting obstacles and enemies along the way. Is that what was happening? Also, that's not a sport. <laughs> the lead truck named Monster... I thought Monster uh, was, the, was the mouth. ...has been designed... By a boy genius, a uh, character named That's Mati, Evil Batman. Uh, and is to be piloted through the course by a woman named Gus, played by Karen Allen. Um, so, yes, the mouth is part of Monster. It's it's like the, you know, obviously the speaking apparatus for this uh, AI oh. truck. This, this giant Winnebago that has... Like a metal like, like metal grill on it, yeah. and then like wood paneling all along the sides. Uh, no, like okay, so so when they when they sh- I, I think there was a big disconnect specifically with that. Yeah, with like the um, with the screenwriter's vision of like what was happening, and not for nothing, the director of photography's vision. Like, like he, like, like, be, like they thought it was gonna be like this steampunky, like, like in their mind, they should be like, oh, it's they, they had something totally different and epic and cool, like in their mind as they're writing it, like this is this is great. This is why I, I really don't want some of my some of my um, uh, uh, books to be made into movies because a couple <laughs> of them, um, like, they might get screwed up. And like all the awesome stuff I have in my brain, uh, my memories are just just gonna get squashed. Yeah. Like, um, but um, but like specifically like with that Winnebago, like with that armored Winnebago, not just the screenwriter but the director of photography, it shot it like very epically. Like we we're supposed to like take in the grandeur of this Winnebago. Like it, like it, like it started on like Karen Allen, like like looking out, like like you know, and it yeah. was supposed to be like this epic scene, and it just wasn't. It was just like a 
it was just this prop car driving down the road and it wasn't interesting to look at at all. We're supposed to be in awe of it, but there's yeah. nothing to be in awe of. It was just kind of yeah. like, well, this it's is kind of cheap and stupid. It kind of looked like a poorly made train, like the front, yeah. <laughs> the front of a train. Um, let's see. Eventually the truck's AI fails and Gus ends up in uncharted territories. Uh, I don't recall the AI failing. I think she just decided, because there was there was a part toward the beginning where he's like, "No, you have to take this detour. You can't go through this way." And she's like, eh, "I think we'll be fine." And she goes through the place that she wasn't supposed to. I don't think that was the AI failing. I think that was user error more than anything yeah. else. Uh, well, I mean, I think Karen Allen was just trying to get out of the movie. I think she was just like, well... <laughs> if I go this way, I'll get to the bad guys faster. I, like, like, yeah, like, yeah I'll, I'll get to my death scene within 23 minutes, and uh, I, I, I'm done. Like, I, like, dude, because she was, like, the only good... At, like, like, you put Karen Allen... Like, you could tell, like, okay, she's a professional actor, actress... She just came off, like, this is what, 1987? So it's been, like, what, five years since uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, something like that? Yeah. And she's a great actress. And she's taking roles, like, she's, she, 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 she's in she Terminus. She's a star man right before she, this? She's a pro. Yeah. Like, she's, like, she's, like, being a real Hollywood actress. And no one else around her is. Like, especially, <laughs> like, I, I think where the acting really like falls apart specifically is like in the prison where. Yeah. Uh, but, but we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we're, we're pretty close to that, but um, she, she goes the way she's not supposed to. They get uh, captured by this, by these guys, these brigands. I don't know what they were supposed to be. Um, as she gets out of, monster she kind of fights one of the guys off uh and when i say kind of fights i don't mean she fails i mean she kind of fights him like she doesn't do it's one of the worst like stage combat fight things i've ever seen in in a, <laughs> yeah it was bad like there was yeah, no it was, it was like eh. and then, like a really slow kick like eh, i don't really want to lift my leg up all the way it was like yeah, you know, mean, it'd be like watching Hulk Hogan try to wrestle right now. Um, oh no! <laughs> or like, or 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 like someone trying to slap their wife in Paradise Motel. <laughs> yeah, like that. Not not good. It just doesn't look right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so she ends up in this like I don't know. It looked more like a barn than anything else. Uh, where she was locked up with uh, another prisoner, uh, yeah. The 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 real main character of the movie, Stump, uh, a man Wait, with was that the was 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 that the 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 Dune child or was that um uh French man? No, that's French man. Uh, the okay, Dune yeah. child is Princess. Okay, and she's she shows up like in the next scene. Um. Because she's the one who finds uh, Karen Allen dying mysteriously, and this this is one of the things where it really felt like they cut out like a whole scene, yeah, of a whole her section. actually being like questioned and and tortured. Not that you necessarily want to see people being tortured, but it, well, you, in this well, I context, think I do wa you want to do want to see that in the movie if she's gonna yeah. die, like yeah, like I mean, if it's yes, gonna like, kill I mean, no one, her. Okay, look, no one. No, nobody wants to see actual torture. Of, right. of, of course, you know, like, like we all saw, you know, videos that came out of, you know, the war on terror. That, that that's horrible. Nobody wants to see that. But in a movie, when you're trying to convey information to tell a story, yes, you want to see that. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't show anything, so she just she disappears, and then she shows up dead, like or very close to dead. Yeah, no, but we 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 see her dying. Yeah. And then it like cuts away and it cuts back. Like, is she dead? Did she just die? Yeah, she gone. Uh, and <laughs> but yeah, you no, know, no. But the thing is, like, okay, was this was this movie? Did did, did could they not afford to have her? 
uh, on set for more than like a few days because she was such like you know like she wasn't nobody but she also is not really an a lister possibly so like they don't but, have the budget listed for this movie um so yeah but like but like or was this like a role that was like written for her specifically that like hey we have access to to Karen Allen but we like only have her for like a few days let's give her a, let's 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 feature her heavily in the beginning and um give her uh and then just have her um that way we can put her on like the poster and this and that we can get some some press out of it in these weirdo european countries that you know uh that we are uh f- that we are distributing this this thing to yeah um and uh then she then then she can go it, it's kind of like christopher Plummer in star games where he's in it for like you know five minutes and david hasselhoff is in it but david hasselhoff wasn't really a big name then yeah but christopher Plummer definitely was so i i think it's I, I, like akin to that yeah star crash not to not star, star crash games. what did i say you said star games oh but okay yeah so, <laughs> sorry i mean that was what who star who crash. was that in that yeah. one uh tony somebody tony randall tony randall yeah, he was like the god person. Tony, Tony Curtis. Curtis. Yeah, thank Curtis. you. Oliver. Yeah, I knew it was. A... See, I screwed. <laughs> I can't get anything right tonight. Thank Oliver's you, Oliver. Our Oliver. own, our own little it. fact checker. Our own yeah. little fact checker. Um, but yeah, it's, hey, uh... like, but at least he's not like Twitter, who would just like be like, just like you're an idiot. No, he's like yeah. polite, polite, because he. <laughs> He knows that he, he he knows that we meant something else. Yes. So, uh, so uh, prior to dying, though, she uh, she gets a message uh, through Princess, the the little orphan girl, uh, to Stump uh, about uh, to escape and between the burning and the light, choose the light. <laughs> like okay, the. You've seen Dune, right? Yeah. That that movie is like okay. So first time I saw it, and like I started reading the book, and then I was just Ooh. like, I, I don't have time. I don't have time for this, you know. Like yeah, that that's that's so, definitely like, a, a book. Yeah. Um. But I know lots of people love it, and apparently there's some kind of like politics worldview. I guess it's some kind of libertarian thing. I don't know. We don't talk about that here. But um, the um. The, the the movie like the 2021 movie not the david lynch movie um that reflects it um i was in the theater and it's like okay i i am following but i i i'm only i'm only kind of aware of what's happening but i think okay so like the whole time i was like okay so he's the space jesus his mom is the space witch dad is 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 the king of of this planet and there are other kings of other planets but now he was going to go be the king of this other planet by like appointed by the super king um but the super king is in cahoots with this other space king to but then if they're doing that why didn't they just like why didn't they just attack their other planet it's it's kind of and and now they're going to now they're going to the desert people with the blue eyeballs. And Jason Momoa, he's dead, but that's okay because he had the stupidest name in the history of science fiction, <laughs> Duncan Idaho. So, like, 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 I was able to follow Dune, but it was a lot of work. This was worse than that. In the yeah. fact that you didn't, yeah. you, you couldn't even, like, okay, this is that. You couldn't, like, do that because you didn't have enough information. And just like what they were saying was just nonsense, right? And right. so that just why didn't it's, have it's, enough to yeah. follow. Yeah, I mean, reading reading the stuff afterward, it's kind of you can kind of see some of the it's stuff like, that they were. It, 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 it's like okay, so 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 Batman from 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 Gotham 
is going down in a car elevator to uh, all, all these all these Halloween girls with 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 weirdo brain guy makeup on. They're doing something down there, and he's with another guy uh, who has like you know a power haircut and you know wears a suit. <laughs> Um, and he needs evil Batman for some reason. And over here we have Karen Allen, and she's in a truck with a mouth, uh, and she's wearing goggles. And so now she's in. Okay, so let's talk about the prison. <laughs> well, and then but we no, had, yeah, a, yeah. and then we had um, the the other guy with the long red hair, uh, which didn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So like the Robert the, the, the Dobby hierarchy. as Ziggy Stardust. Yeah. So okay. So like this, this like this hierarchy of villains. Like I, I didn't get. Like I didn't know like who the main villain was. Was it the guy with the weird makeup and red hair and the red wig? Was it the was it power haircut man? Well, was it evil Batman? Here's here's was the it thing. The mouth? Here's the thing. I the, don't know. The guy with the red hair and the guy with the okay. power haircut. And the guy driving this other truck that's going to show up a little bit later were all the same guy. What? Uh, they were all played by the same actor, and I'm pretty sure they were all clones of the one guy. Uh, because the kid, the, the Batman kid, uh, and Princess were both clones also. Okay. Princess was the first clone of the the. You don't get any of this information in the movie. Kind if you of. Do, it's very poorly. It's very yeah. poorly communicated. Yeah. Um. She's the first clone, but she was too human. She had too much, too many uh, human feelings, and so the guy's like, "No, we're gonna try again, and we're gonna make this Mati kid," and. Uh, which is I uh, was very close to the Maquis, but um, yeah, and all oh, another Star Trek reference like yeah, it's made him too human. Like let's be like because that just reminds me of the episode from season one, Data Lore. Yeah, when they go to um, the planet on which Data originated, Omicron Theta, and they find uh, Doctor Assume's really kind of pathetic laboratory, uh, because of course it's season one, and like you see um. Uh, lore in pieces uh, and it's clearly just like a plastic mannequin head with a wig on it Yeah, and they're like can we rebuild him and when they rebuild him he's suddenly Brent Spiner um, <laughs> and uh, they'll be like why was he created and then and, and Laura opens his eyes and be like like, like he was first but like they, they, they found him to be too per like like they found him to be flawed so they made me and I was I was perfect I like like I had emotions, but really it was the other way around. Yeah, Lore was just like too human, and he became like a, a monster. And he like, hey, space snowflake, come kill all these guys for some reason. So that was our, yeah. That so was they little digression into Star Trek: The Next Generation. Everybody. So You're, technically, they were they were all the bad guy because they were all the same person. I'm pretty sure they were all supposed to be clones of each other, but uh. Yeah, let's let's talk about the uh, the prison, Dave. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this is where like the acting and where you just start really feeling bad for Karen Allen is that like um, there was one scene like like they went and they opened up like like a prison door and it's like hey like what do you think you're doing come out here so we can beat you you know. And it's just supposed to be like it's it's like this super intimidating dialogue delivered in the like like the most flat non acting way possible. Like I can't even like describe. <laughs> it was very just, bad, very like, bad. Like 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 it was like if me or Jeremy like we're not actors. Jeremy, are you an actor? Nope. If you went like onto a movie set and be like, here, memorize these lines. I I I think I so I'll put it on me. So I would go in there. And be, I would just, be, uh, um, um, yes. Um, how would you like to come out here and show me how big of a man you are, you son of a bitch? You know, like you know, like that. Like I, I feel like that's how I would like. 
Like they could have gotten me to do that acting job. Yeah. And it would have been so, about the same level. Same with me. Yeah. But yeah. So, oh, 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 we did forget one, one thing. Oh, oh, <laughs> when, oh when did the movie, we? When the movie starts, it's, it's Gus driving monster. You know, she's trying to get to wherever she needs to go. She takes yeah. it through this like village Oh, and yeah, and they kill a bunch of chickens. They're, like, running over chickens. They're plowing through, like, the corners of buildings. Yeah. Through brick walls, just, like, taking buildings down. They make, like, you know, a, you know, a remind, gas line you know, explode. Me of, it, remind, it reminded me of, um, of Wonder Woman. Uh, <laughs> and, and, that, and, that, and that chase scene through Manila. Yeah, where, where the guy like, gets they, hit by the car. Like, like they very clearly, like like no one around them knew that there was a movie happening. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. I totally forgot about that. I had to mention it, the part with the chickens at least. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Oliver said, so she did deserve to die. Um, <laughs> but after, after she dies, uh, Stump escapes. He gets on board Monster. Monster lets him on board, I should say. Uh, and Oof. then we get a scene uh, where they're in the, I don't know, control room for this, this game. And they're <laughs> like, oh, Monster has a new has a new driver. And no, he must be he must be okay because Monster let him on board. Like, obviously this this computer that I built is smart enough to know if someone's good enough to let them on board. Uh, and then we have the longest so Jeremy, 40 minutes oh, in ahead. movie history, I think, after this. Oh, we're, we're just trying to get to the end of the movie? Like... Where it's just like... Oh my God. Like, it's just so confusing and boring. Like, it, like, like... It, the it, Copper like, Mountain was, effect like, oh, is real, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It is. It was a drag. <laughs> it was a real drag to get to the end of this movie. Um, Riff tracks, of course, made it better and bearable, but yeah. man, was it was was it a long slog? Now, yeah. I want to ask you about uh, they in this movie they often wax poetic about the game. Do you know what the game was? I mean, like, did you know what it was during the movie? I had no idea why they were calling it a game. Okay, like. So, Anytime, I had no clue what was like, going on. <laughs> anytime they, they made reference to the game, like like the only thing I, I could think of was there's this, and I did a little bit of research on this because I wanted to know if it was a Gen, Gen Z thing or just a stupid young people in general thing. Are you and talking about the out, game? If you mentioned yeah, the game, you lose. Yeah, it turns out it's the latter, about, about, about the game. It's like, what's the game? Well, if you think about the game, you lose. Like, okay, that's not... That's not good enough. What are you talking? Uh, I about? can I can like, tell okay. you I can tell you exactly where that came from. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so yes, we're we're we're, we're going to talk about the game, and then I'm going to offer a hot take about the game. Okay. So just yeah. Unfortunately, the game uh, came from 4chan. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh. it was a 4chan thing, which but Wikipedia said it was from like the 70s. Well, it was repopular, repopularized ah. then, in in uh, on four chan. Hey, thanks for uh, gifting the sub there, uh, Chris the Pool again. Um, but yeah, it's that's it may have originated in the seventies. Of course, that might just be something that they made up for. Yeah, it it's also. All, yeah, it's very possible. Um, yeah. but yeah, that's the fact that's, there's a Wikipedia page for this thing at all is like, yeah, that's. It says it's a mind game. Like, well, yeah, I, well, I whatever. guess. Whatever. For extremely stupid people. <laughs> like, okay, so, like, like, okay, so just, just like when, like, like, like when people try to, like, ex explain the game to me, it's like, I'd be like, like, if you think about the game, you lose, or like people just be like, oh, I lost the game. It's like, j shut up. Just, just shut up. Like, this is point, like, what are you doing with your life? You know, yeah. Like, yeah, moot like, is probably responsible. Like, oh, I lost or... the game. It's like, okay, look, the only like, like, 
you lose the that you lose by like playing by these ridiculous rules. Just forget about it. Yeah. Just move on with your life. Yeah. Um, like it's mean. It's it's dumb. And, and funnily, funnily enough, 4chan itself uh, is an offshoot from uh, something awful where uh, L- Low Tax used to be in charge of and uh, Moot, Moot's left because uh, he didn't like how controlling it was there. And so he started 4chan. Moot? Yeah, he was the guy what? who started 4chan. It's... He was like the main moot. His name I, was okay. moot. like a moot point. I, we're getting you know, way off extent, track here with you know, Terminus. The, but... you know, the, 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 the extent of my 4chan knowledge is is that I know that there is a thing and it is called 4chan. <laughs> Literally, those words are all my knowledge about 4chan. Yeah. 4chan were the people that were too extreme for something awful. Um, okay. But yeah. Uh, anyway. I'll... I'll I'll have to take your word for it. I was too busy in a there's war your, when all that stuff was happening. There's your so, there's your like, internet history lesson for the day. Uh anyway. <laughs> where were we? Uh let's see. Stump Terminus. Had just, yes. Stump had just escaped. Uh and we we this is where the Copper Mountain effect really kicks in. Um because there's a whole lot of not much going on. Um they're going we, around. Uh, I mean, going we see the him country. shave a lot. Um, he he gets followed by this uh, semi truck with a giant trailer that uh, can cloak itself, I guess. Uh, and Mati the kid is like, "Hey, so something's following monster," and they're like, "Oh no, no, it's just you know some some refractions in the atmosphere." And our satellites are picking that up. And he's like, okay, I don't believe you. Satellites? I yeah. thought this was an apocalypse. <laughs> um, so he finally gets, like, I guess almost to where he's supposed to be going after, you know, some run-ins with some military people. He used his uh, monster's hoist on this bridge, and all of the Jeeps, like, just keep driving over it and exploding down in the canyon uh, underneath mm-hmm. the bridge. That car- that part was kind of funny. Yeah, the never-ending timer on the bridge, yeah. Uh, but I I like the, the riff here where they're like, uh, instead of, you know, using actual special effects, just render the bridge in AutoCAD. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was just being like, <laughs> uh, war games eat your heart out. <laughs> uh so it's a bunch of dumb stuff like that happens, and uh, he finally makes it somewhere, and he gets very slowly, the monster gets very slowly rolled over by this semi-truck. Um, after after Stump reprograms it somehow, like he takes okay. apart like the, the CPU or whatever, and it's like all slimy and gross and... And monsters like giving him the history of a little bit of the Ma- the Mati kid and why that he was a clone and that princess was the first clone and and they like fix monster or something. <sighs> I don't know what Let they did. They just question. fiddled around for a bit. Yo, I just had a brain the injury. worst possible <laughs> image. If these evil lips were. A common feature in cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would happen. That's going to be the newest feature on uh, the next that version would of the happen. Tesla. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, oh no. Like, like, like. That's what G. Like, like, like. Because GM's taking, um, uh, is taking like the screens and stuff out of their cars. They're taking away like CarPlay and like all this other stuff out of out of their cars because they're saying that it, uh, it it encourages a bad driving behavior and it, yeah. all all the GM customers like super pissed off about it. I mean, and they're so, not like, wrong. Well, at, yeah, they're who GM or the yeah. People no, they're absolutely not wrong by taking those out. Uh, it's it's Always leads to distractive driving. There's boxes I that need, you can I need get it for now. My job. 
there's boxes that you can get now that you can plug in to your car if you have like the the Apple AirPlay or or the CarPlay or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, that's yeah. I use yeah. I use that. I need it to make that, money. That turns it into a streaming media center Ooh. for while you're driving. Well, yeah, you have that on your phone, but I mean, but like, yeah, like so uh, that that stuff they can't anyway. get rid of. Like anyway, but yes. Getting back, uh, getting back to the joke, to 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 compensate for all the customers that they're going to lose, they'll just put monster in there, like right yeah. where the screen used to be. Like here are these lips. I don't like that. Have fun. I don't. I don't like that at all. Don't make <laughs> me spell it out, guys. Yeah, um, put it together. So anyway, <laughs> they get they get to close to where they were going. The truck. Uh, comes and uncloaks, knocks him over. The third uh, Jurgen Pranchow, or however the hell you say that guy's <laughs> real name, uh, he's his character is literally just listed as the hostile truck driver, uh, for this version of his character. There's a little bit of a fight between him and Stump. Uh, Stump knocks him out, and decides, you know what? I want to see what's in the trailer in this truck. And yeah, this was the point where both me and Jeremy were just like, "Oh my god, what?" And it's and and it's and it's where the name of the episode comes from. Yeah. Um. So he drags the guy's unconscious body over, lifts him up to use the key around his neck instead of just taking the key off. Uh, opens the back door, and we have a trailer full of. Uh, there's supposed no, to be no more nice clones no. of Mati. Uh, well, what do they look like Jeremy, and there's no the, nice way to say it. What did what did he? Yeah, oily oily baby men. Uh, what was the riff? Uh, something about uh, oily know. gelflings, I think is what they called them. No, um, I just, I it was, was just like, I, I didn't want to see wet naked baby men. It was you know, very it was disturbing. Just, like it, it, it's very disturbing, and I'm not sure if they intended it to be, or uh, that like 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 that's just the way that like I think the it's just the way it out. came out. Yeah. Um, and they're like, well, this, I mean, like, like this is how, like, you know, but like, it, it, it's either get or oil up some cabbage patch kit or something. I don't know. Just shoot it. We got to make the movie. It was, yeah, they looked like it the was, twins <laughs> and nothing but trouble. You're right. It was very disturbing. Like, it made this movie go from zero to absolutely insane in just a matter yeah, of yeah. seconds. It was, it was. It was an hour of confusing nonsense, and of confusing, boring nonsense, to like a split second of just like, <laughs> like what? Uh, <laughs> now, now, I don't know if you noticed this during during your watch of it, um, but in the background of some of the scenes in the this little like evil headquarters, um. There was a whole lot of uh, little bitty human clones hanging around all over the place. I did not notice that. And they were bloody looking, and they were gross, and like little fetuses, yeah. like little baby fetus monsters. Yeah, but a little bit bigger, like maybe almost a year ish old. Size no. wise, yeah, okay. it was it was bad, and I kind of noticed it, and I'm like, I think those are supposed to be like more clones of the doctor. Like, if oh, Mati like doesn't work out, like, 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 like aborted abortions in bottles along the wall, and all that. Kinda, they were like in bags, <laughs> like, like vacuum but, yeah. sealed. Um, but yeah, it was aborted abortions. <laughs> yes, that's that. That that that's a new phrase for the true blue lexicon, everybody. Uh, but it's, that uh, is what this movie was. Yeah, but the so the truck, the semi, tr the trailer of this truck, was filled with older versions of those same little clones that were being created in these bags, and it was so disturbing. It was so just mind blowingly weird. Uh. Definitely not anything I expected to come out of this movie, but no, especially after watching like... it for that long, but there's only like 10 minutes left at this point. Uh, so 
they end up going to the headquarters after after taking care of that truck after blowing it up. Yeah. And there's just explosion after explosion after explosion, and they kept trying to come up with quips for it. That was pretty good. Um. They find the headquarters, and Princess is like, "Oh, there's an opening over on this side that we can go through." And then it literally shows them crashing through the wall. It's like crashing through. Like everybody yeah. left except for uh, except for Evil young Batman. Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. He he stayed there. The the truck came in through the wall. He climbs up the side, opens the door. And he's not evil anymore somehow. Like that yeah. was never that was not uh, clear. Like why and, I texted Jeremy, it's like, why are they rescuing evil Batman? Like and he's like, Maybe he was brainwashed. And I was like, He was he? I, I that's all I could come up with. Um Yeah. And they may have mentioned that somewhere in the movie, but uh they uh, like, okay, yeah. He opens the door. Uh, Stump like was knocked out or something by crashing through the wall. He kind of came to, and uh, Monsters like, oh yeah, we won. And uh, uh, you and did. I didn't even tell Stump that he gets his weight in gold. <clears throat> and then that was the end of the movie. <laughs> like it yeah. literally ends right Thank there. Thank God. Yeah. Oh, oh. It, this movie felt like it was five and a half hours long, and I'm not kidding. Like, yeah, it was really, it was a slog. It was really it bad. Felt like I was watching it all day just to get, oh, I, just to yeah. get through it to watch it for tonight. It was yeah. so insanely long. Things we do, things we do for this podcast and for Rift Tracks. I'll tell you what. <laughs> but it was a lot of. It what? was a we lot do. of fun. We, we watched their it was product. Hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. It was funny. It was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, the riffs made it go a little faster. Um, but this definitely had the Copper Mountain effect going on big time. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna rank yeah, this one. Do the thing. And this yeah, one's not gonna this one's not no, gonna score not gonna very well high. at all. Uh, plot like like I gotta say zero because man, like I did not know what was going on. No, like, like very no hard. clues. Zero clues. Very so hard to figure out. He gets as many out. points as I had clues. Zero. <laughs> Acting. Oh, okay, so I, I sent you a text. Like, editing. Like, well, okay, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. But I said, I have, like, Karen Allen is a pro. And it's the only reason this doesn't get a zero. It gets a one because Karen Allen was such a pro. Yeah. Uh, dialogue. It didn't really like like I think it I, if it had had like fun lines in it like I mean I think it tried to have fun lines with with, with the evil mouth and the, the jive talking which we didn't Yeah then really the, talk evil about. the evil mouth is dropping our slurs like, and like of, Yeah. It's like, "Oh boy, we need to get you to sensitivity training." That was one of my favorite riffs. Um, he drops but, um, the he drops a slur and Mike just sighs, and he's like, "We have to get you to sensitivity training, robot yeah, mouth." It's, yeah, it's not it, like like it's not as bad as like say um, last slumber party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the last slumber party. Um, uh, but it's it's still just like oh well, I mean you know I like look I'm. I am not for like okay, like these words that are that we all used like in like school now they're socially unacceptable. Like I'm not gonna hold it against the person like like for you know saying uh like I like I'm I'm not gonna say the word on on the air, but yes, like you know you. if like like if. If they're of a certain age and they say a word that begins with M <laughs> to describe a dwarf, then like okay, like whatever. But um, but at the same time, when you hear those words now, you're just like, oh, you're like yeah. do like you're like you're getting canceled on Twitter. Like <laughs> it's, like it's not even worth it. It's not worth it. You know. But I think it did try to have like fun lines, like um, uh, in a bog, like how they said, like you know, some kind of Dracula. And of course, our favorite line from Fatal Combat, 
You don't know um, the meaning of value. You don't know the meaning of value. It would have been different dialogue wise if there had been some fun lines like that, but there weren't. Yeah. So I think like I don't want to give it a zero, but like I I, I like it didn't have any. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go with zero just because like it's just ugh, ugh. so zero. Cinematography. Cinematography. There was that one shot of Karen Allen and just like, you know, how they wanted to look epic and majestic, but that wasn't the cinematography's fault. It was just like the fact that they just had a crap van. So I'll yeah. give it a one. It does. It doesn't get zero because it looked like it, it looked like the director of photography at least tried. Yeah. Okay. Editing. Editing gets a flat zero because man, especially early on there, they, they were like cutting between scenes like like these weird like I think people might be like, Oh, it was a smash cut. It's like, well, no, smash cuts generally don't like decrease information. Like yeah. you know, like you don't have a smash cut. Like you have a smash cut and you jump to something unexpected, you get more information from that. Be like they actively like it just make the editing just like made it so confusing when they like, like especially like early on, like between French guy and like the prison and like there was, there was a lady that was like rolling her eyes in like a bar <laughs> or something. And I'm just like, what is going on? And that's why I texted Jeremy. It's like this editing gets a, a zero, zero, yeah. zero, zero. Uh, effects. Um, I think I think, think it's got to go a little bit high with the fact yeah a little bit higher let's go let's i don't know if it's very generous i think three is too generous i was i was gonna say like two and a half at the okay most. so yeah okay that's good yeah because like three is like oh no but uh, i mean there were some decent effects but like you know for a movie like this yeah uh sound and music I don't remember. I remember this. I don't there remember was a song at the beginning that they were singing. Uh, yeah. I didn't hate one, it because so it was one. there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, directing. Oh, dude, zero. Like what? Uh, like, like I don't know how you can direct your actors <laughs> to deliver dialogue the way they were doing in that prison and be like, oh yeah, that's that's good. You can't pull someone like like, hey, look. This thing called acting. You need to do that. Acting. You need to do that for me. That's what I'm paying you to do. I need you to say these lines in like like you know, yeah. So I I, I think I think like everything's on the everything's on the director. This movie was garbage. It's yeah. it's it's like they pulled everything out of a a, a trash can, you know. So and, and, <laughs> and it's all on the director. So directing Absolutely. gets zero. <sighs> like like it, and, and the thing is it's, it's like it wasn't even it wasn't even like fun bad like 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 bog or or or, or fatal combat or or anything like that it was just like a mess yeah it's just a mess uh did this movie have a character or personality it, it did but like I didn't like it I, you know I I, I, I don't want to go back and visit it like the way I would want to go back and revisit like Paradise Motel or The Little Mermaid or Grim Tracks yeah um, so or like or even like The Christmas Martian I mean I don't remember what we gave The Christmas Martian for personality definitely had one but this 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 has a personality but it's terrible it's um <laughs> Like it's not quite nice guy fedora wearing, you know, neck beard. Ooh. It's 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 something a little different. It's definitely like like I think the personality is French guy. I think that's the personality of this movie. Yeah. Classic yeah, French yeah, guy so, with the beret yeah, and the cigarette on the big long thing. And he just like and the he's just like, shirt. Sh like shaving that a big old scar right there. The red, and you're just like you're red, it. ascot. You know, it's just like you're a douchebag. Um, so um, I, 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 <laughs> no, let's give it two. Like, like I think like wow. one. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling generous for some reason, <laughs> even though I hated this. So two. 
And of course, we did already mention that the riffs uh, saved yes, the movie, the made it very watchable. Would uh, you watch this on Rift? You know, it depends on when I would have seen it. Like, if it would have been something, you know, a little bit closer to when it came out, maybe if I would have seen it on TV or something in the early 90s, I might have turned it on like if it was a really boring Saturday afternoon or something. I might have turned it on. I probably just wouldn't have paid much attention to it. But I probably would have had it on. I what wouldn't you, have. Dave? Like, no. like, I, like, I, like, I will turn off. I will turn off like if I'm like watching Star Trek: The Next Generation. This is something that that, that I did like as 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 a little baby man. Is that I recognized that the episodes of Star Trek: The Next Generation where they had the old uniforms from season one and two. If they had like the old uniforms with the stripe, <laughs> like oh no, we're do- like this is gonna be boring as hell. So like let's 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 watch something different uh, from 10 a.m. to from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Every every night on Fox thirteen, um, but um, I like I and that's like my favorite show. And like if it was boring, I wouldn't. I was just n- like, nope, not doing it. I, I would mean, definitely not watch this, especially especially season two episodes. Like, oh dude, those were th- those were definitely season, the worst. I think season one as a whole is worse, but season two has some just like bizarre. It's like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, just like not fun, to, like yeah, it's yeah. We should start a sub podcast about Star Trek: The Next Generation. <laughs> hey, give me an excuse to watch it again. Uh, not that I need hey, it. I've been but... watching. I've been, I've been watching a lot of it. That's why I've been talking about it lately. I uh, I did finally finish Lower Decks. I got to finish watching uh, uh, Stranger Worlds. Um, yeah, why? Part of the way. I don't. know. I like it. I think it's fun. It's way better than Discovery, that's for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe the last season true. of Discovery was was better, but I did no, not the like the first season. No, the last season of Discovery is is premiering this year. No, I mean the and... last one that was on season three or whatever. Oh, well, I mean, I would, I wouldn't know. I'm not watching Star Trek Discovery. Like, 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 I'm amazed that I came back to watch P- season three of Picard, but I'm glad I did because that was it was excellent. Yeah, but so yeah, that's uh, Terminus. It That's terminus. We have reached the. Whoa, jeez! Thank you, asshole. <laughs> Who are you impressing? Uh, he... Well, he saw log hair in a car, so he was just trying to. Oh, dude. Oh, okay, like okay, so um, <laughs> like quick little story before we go. Uh, one of my old jobs in Ogden, I used to like walk around, like on my break, and I had like, and um, I had, of course, I've had, I had long hair. And I do. I would get catcalled by like idiots in trucks, coming from behind, literally every day. Like I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Like I would get catcalled because of my hair. Like woo, baby. Like like that. It was just like, what is happening? Are you idiots? Yes. Like, do you not have eyes? I mean, I didn't have a beard back then, but <laughs> you know, I'm I'm very clearly not a pretty lady. Yeah, what's you, you wrong know, with you? you? Probably could be if you tried. You could be pretty, well, Dave. <laughs> Nothing wrong with wanting to be pretty. Um, all right. Well, let's let's. Anyway, that's the Trouble Riffcast for today. Uh, next week or the week after that, um, Dave, I would like to update our list of uh, twenty top twenty-five essential riff tracks VODs. Have we done that before? We did it way back before the podcast was this podcast. Oh, that's When right. we were yeah, messing we around that. with the idea of a podcast and we were doing what Jeremy likes and bad it was, stuff. Oh, it's gonna be like for it was gonna be associated with the Riff Wiki. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think we should do that. Um we should update that and uh maybe Can you find it? That was shorts? like in twenty seventeen. Oh like no, that's gone. That ago. doesn't that doesn't exist anymore. That's okay. that's been scrubbed from the internet completely. I don't have the masters. It's it's gone. It is dead and gone. So we'll just have to rebuild. We'll just have to make a new. Okay, top yeah, let's rebuild. So twenty list. top twenty top twenty twenty five. That sounds like a lot of work. Okay, I mean, I'll do it. Yeah, but I well, mean... if if we if we, I mean, we should do it. Work on it together, because if we both do like our top ten list, it's just going to be essentially the same stuff. And yeah. so, 
I, that's why I want to like expand it. And if we both like throw entries, I'll like make a Google Doc and we can throw stuff in there whenever we think of something, and then we can organize it how we feel like. And because yeah. they don't necessarily we'll have to be in the order, just you know the most essential riffs yeah. that people need to watch. Well, I did something like that for the riff wiki, and I think I'll probably just um Up reference that. that but, yeah. yeah, yeah, we could do that. That works. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, here live on Twitch. Uh, if you want to support the podcast at all, you can follow us here live on Twitch. That's going to be your most important step. That uh, and then going into uh, Dave's Discord because we do have a section in the Discord where we you know, yeah, say, hey, we're going live. Yeah. Uh, we also still use our, the Twitter account um, at TBRiffCast. Uh, but if you want to support us, you can also uh, subscribe on Twitch. You can drop bits. You can uh, go to patreon.com slash true blue riff cast and uh, support us for a couple dollars a month over there. I think we have a free tier too, but I don't think the free people get all this stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if you want to get a hold of us, you can do so at uh, true blue riff cast at gmail.com. Uh, and I'm Dave. You can check me out at uh, on on Twitter, formerly known as X, at D Chadwick Author, and uh, check me out at Amazon and Audible. And we will see everybody next time right here on the True Blue Riffcast. Rock till you die. Rock.